stuff. A few months ago, Arkansas Business surveyed more than 200 leaders in our state, business leaders, political leaders, nonprofit leaders, education leaders, and we asked them several questions, but one of them was, who do you admire? What leader do you look up to? If you were going to be like someone and hold someone up, who would that be? And one name rose to the top of that list. So this inaugural Legacy of Leadership Award symbolizes today and years to come as we continue this award, an, an individual who serves community, who serves an organization, who serves a state, and beyond. After we did that survey, it was pretty easy to determine who should be the inaugural winner of the Legacy of Leadership Award. And that honor tonight is going to J. Thomas Tommy May. Please welcome to the stage, if you would, uh, Tommy's friend and colleague, Mr. George Macris, the CEO and Chairman of Simmons Bank, to help us with our introductions. George? Thanks, sir. Okay, here we go. That's right. Well, it's certainly my honor tonight to introduce Tommy May as tonight's recipient of the Legacy of Leadership Award. We all have our idea of leadership and what defines a great leader. We all have people in mind that are models for our concepts. I've had the privilege of knowing and working with Tommy for over 30 years, and he is certainly at the top of my list of great leaders. I've observed his leadership skills firsthand. Thoughtful, detailed, hands-on, deliberate, risk manager, motivational, are just some of the terms that come to mind to describe Tommy. Now, Tommy's an avid golfer, and in fact, he shot his age last year. As one of his golfing buddies describes Tommy, it goes something like this. Tommy makes the rules, changes the rules, <laughs> and interprets the rules. And I guess that pretty much sums up Tommy's leadership style. <laughs> You've read in numerous materials about Tommy's lifetime of achievement, but I do want to reflect on the recent past and some significant milestones achieved under Tommy's leadership. During the financial crisis of 2007 to 2011, when the banking industry as a whole lost 75% of its market value, Simmons Bank, under Tommy's leadership, sustained its market value throughout and continued to provide capital for the markets it served. That is no small feat. When Tommy retired at the end of 2013, he began a new chapter at Simmons as chairman of the newly formed Simmons First Foundation. The foundation was a start from scratch project and currently has more than $6 million in assets and has provided almost $1 million in grants to support youth activities, education, and community investment projects. Most notably among those projects is Go Forward Pine Bluff, a grassroots planning process led by Tommy that resulted in a multi-year redevelopment plan for Pine Bluff. The citizens of Pine Bluff passed a sales tax to support that plan, which will raise over $30 million, and the business community pledged another seven in support of the plan. I'm sure most of you have read about the initiatives and their positive effect on Pine Bluff. You know, I'm not sure Tommy has ever been this busy in his life. And by the way, all of this was achieved after Tommy was diagnosed with ALS in 2005. So Tommy's been a leader all his life from the time he was a quarterback on the high school football team where according to Tommy, 
He would have been highly decorated if he had just gotten more playing time. <laughs> Through his service in the Marine Corps and his banking career, Tommy has demonstrated his skills. But for me, Tommy's legacy of leadership will be his sheer determination to meet adversity head on, overcome its influence, and achieve levels of success never envisioned. Now, I invite you to turn your attention to this short video. In his close to 50 years in banking, J. Thomas May, also known as Tommy, has thrived on professional challenges. From daily leadership responsibilities to innovative new technologies, Tommy, a former Marine, has continued to adapt and overcome. In the process, Tommy built the foundation upon which Simmons First National Corporation has grown its assets to $16.5 billion and expanded its presence into seven states. For this achievement and many more, Tommy May is the first Arkansas Business of the Year Legacy of Leadership honoree. He began his banking career at First National Bank of Commerce in New Orleans, but spent more than 30 years with Simmons. As bank president and CEO of publicly traded Simmons First National Corporation, Tommy fought through recessions and hard times and stayed true to his values, which include loyalty to his adopted hometown of Pine Bluff. May is a member of the University of Arkansas's Arkansas Business Hall of Fame, has earned the Hall's Lifetime Achievement Award, and has received the University of Arkansas Chancellor's Medal. Tommy is loyal to his alma mater and was a University of Arkansas trustee from 1993 to 2003. He enjoys family time with his wife, Catherine, whom he credits, along with other family, friends, and Simmons employees, for providing the support he needed to get his life on course after his ALS diagnosis. Tommy May is a truly remarkable business leader, and his success is one that will be treasured in our state for generations to come. Thank you for your comments and, and uh, Mitch and Lance, Mr. Hatcher, we thank you for your sponsorship. And now, uh, if you don't mind, I, I would like to introduce my family, Catherine, my wife, my son, Chris, my son, Chad, and Joy, his wife, and my two of our six grandchildren, Mary Alice and uh, Jackson, and uh, um, oh, man. Uh, you know, and I'll try to be brief. Um, um, somebody asked me, uh, you know, why I qualified for this. I said, well, first, retired, second, Oh, <laughs> and third, I know Olivia Farrell. <laughs> you know, um, tonight you've already met and greeted a group of very talented leaders, all the finalists that have been introduced. I mean, it was just amazing to watch what kind of leadership we have in our state and those people that are making a difference. Each one of these individuals have their own story about leadership. So very quickly, I would like to share a few brief comments about leadership in the eyes of Tommy May. First, I want to tell you a brief little story. When I retired, my two sons told me that retirement meant that you had your time, and now it's somebody else's time. Mr. Macris and Mr. Castile, they said, just don't go around bothering everybody. <laughs> and, and if they want your opinion, they'll call. <laughs> Five years later, they never called. 
reason none of it had to do with my medical challenge. It had to do with what's up here. And it was not until the military got a good hold on me that I began to understand that I wasn't a boss. I do believe that each of us are provided leadership opportunities either in our home as a father and a mother providing leadership or in our business as we evolve up and provide leadership. In community organizations where we have volunteer leaders or in our church, whether it's a deacon, a Sunday school teacher, or whatever, I believe that God has provided each of us with certain talents and it's up to us as how we will use those talents. Leadership is about vision. It's about planning and providing a roadmap for our associates to follow. It is about planning your work and working your plan. It's about helping others grow to be as good as they can be. It is about establishing a footprint for others to follow. It is about showing the way by following the Luhot's do right rule, establishing a culture of strong morality and ethics. And finally, it is about having the right priorities. While I believe I've always had the priorities right, being work, family, and faith, I don't believe that I had them in the right sequence for much of my career. And until I put God first, then family and job, after getting them in the right order, it's just absolutely amazing how the rest fall into place. Personally, I believe there has never been a more important time in our nation for caring mentors. All of you are leaders in some form or fashion. It's important that we don't always look for somebody else to be that mentor. Take it upon yourself. Find somebody doing something good. Say something to them. And make a commitment to make a difference in somebody's life. Because again, it's never been more important. So thank you. 